Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about milestones. So I hope you all are ready. So I have three upcoming milestones that I want to share with you all today and just talk through um, a variety of things, ask for your advice on some things, and then have you all comment as well on some milestones you all have coming up in your life. So first, I am excited to say I am in my last semester of coursework for my PhD. Yeah insert happy dance yeah yeah anyway so this has been a long journey for me so i like i said i'm a phd student so this is my second phd program that i've been in so i went back to school and in my 30s i had got a first master's degree i have my bachelor's i have my first master's and then i went back to school and after working six years, I went back and got a second master's. So, and then after that three-year master's degree, I went straight into a PhD. And I only stayed in it for one semester because I was ready to get back working. So I got my job in Iowa and then I waited a year and a half and I applied and transferred into a program um, in Iowa. So I have been on this PhD journey for a long time. I graduated undergraduate in 2003 so and I'm set to possibly graduate I'm looking for 2022 or 2023 which would make 20 years since I graduated so to me that would be very sentimental if it was 20 years after I graduated my undergrad to then get my PhD but we'll see if I work on my dissertation quicker then it'll be 2022 so I am so excited to be in this last semester of coursework and then on top of that, I thought I'd be in two classes, but I am actually going to get to wave one class. So I'm excited. I'm only in one class. It's a stats class. Woo. So and it's actually in the statistics department versus being in my department. And there's two seniors in there who are statistic majors. So I'm like, you all are going to be riding this train in the stats class. So I'm excited. So we'll talk about that. I don't know how much you all want to hear about statistics, um, but we may talk a little bit about how that class is going. I may just update you all because who wants to spend a whole video talking about statistics? But here we go. So those, that's my first milestone and I am so excited. And in one of my uh, later videos, I will talk about working full time and doing a PhD, but then also going back to school in my 30s. Because like I said, my second PhD my second master's, excuse me, my second master's, I went back to school when I was in my 30s. I was actually 32 when I started my second master's and I had worked for six years and went back to school. So I will talk about those things in a later video. Uh, so that's exciting. All right. So my second milestone is I'm turning 40. I don't know how that's going to look on video. But four zero, and I discussed this in my intro video. So yes, I am so excited for this fourth decade of my life, um, and it's still I'm still wrapping my head around what it means to be forty. So there's so many different things that I've done in my life, um, and I'm I'm just excited to get to this point. Um, some things I continue to think about when I think about my forties. Uh, my mom had me when she was sixteen, so at this point in her life, she had a twenty four year old. Can you imagine? She had a 24-year-old. Um, I had already graduated, and I had actually gone into the Peace Corps, which I'll talk about in a later video. So I was in a different country um, doing, during that time. So she had a 24-year-old. So I can't even imagine what that was like for my mom. So, And the other thing I keep joking about is that the Rona, coronavirus is going to have me saying I'm 39 for two years because I feel like... I was planning to do a Vegas trip for my 40th birthday, uh, which is later in the year, and I am not doing that now, so I feel like I need to be 39 for two years, <laughs> so then I can really celebrate 40 next year, but we'll still, I'll still celebrate, and you all be able to celebrate with me. Uh, so I wanted to ask any um, advice or suggestions you all have for me celebrating the big 4-0 in quarantine, so I would highly um, I'd be excited just to hear what you have to say in the comments about um, ideas for celebrating my 40th birthday while we're in isolation still. So I'm excited about that. And um, with turning 40, I'm also, and this is why I'm starting this channel as well. I've talked about it and I'm excited for it because I am continuing to seek joy um, in my life as I move into my 40s. And I talked a little bit last week 
about that. Um, and that's part of what I want to want us to be doing together, seeking joy together and just getting back to knowing myself. Um, in a lot of ways, I feel like I've grown so much in the last 10 years, um, particularly after my second master's degree, which again, I'll talk about in an upcoming video. Um, but I'm not the same person I was in my at, even at 30 years old, even at five years ago. I'm not the same person. So this is really like a transformational um, journey for me and time for me. The other thing, and this is my third milestone, is that I'm actually job searching. I know in the middle of a pandemic, but I am so excited. Um, I've worked really hard in my career and this next journey for me, I'm looking for a senior uh, position. So I'm actually excited. I'm a mid manager right now. And so I'm excited to just be confident in my own skills because I think that's a lot of what I've had to build is my own confidence, knowing that I've done so many things. And sometimes it's me holding me back on um, really putting my my um, myself out there and knowing that it's not it's not braggadocious as we like to say to talk about all the things that you've done um, and that there's confidence in that and there's a confident way to do that um, where you don't feel like you're braggadocious but I've done a lot of stuff in my life so I am confident as I move forward and I'm excited as I move to the next chapter of my life I'm also deciding if I want to stay in the same field that I'm in now or if I even want to change uh, fields that I'm in. So as you all know, I've worked with college students. So I've worked in higher ed for a long time now, and I'm really deciding if that's where I want to stay um, and continue to move up in this field, or if I want to try something different and try another industry. So that's also something I'm thinking about. If you all have any suggestions um, as I'm planning ahead, and this will be something that it'll probably be, it'll be a year long process and you all will be here for the journey. But if you have any advice for job searching in the quarantine, as people say, please put those in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you all have to say. Any advice, I'd really appreciate it. So I want to hear from you all as well. Like what are the milestones that you all have coming up in your life? I am so excited to hear from you all. Again, I am celebrating this be my last semester of coursework. And today I even have, I didn't say it, I have my boss pin. My mom bought me this pin. You see it's blinged out and it has the crown because my mom thinks I'm like a queen. So yes, and I do too. Um, so this is my boss pin. But yes, last semester of coursework, turning 40 in December at the end of the year. But also job searching. And so I'm excited to hear from you all. So again, those questions that I want you to talk about and any advice that you have, what are milestones that you all have coming up in the next six to 12 months? I also want you to tell me any advice or ways, fun ways that I can celebrate my 40th birthday in quarantine. And then any advice as I'm job searching in a pandemic. So if you have any advice for me in the comments, and also I hope that you will stick around with me and that you will subscribe and even hit those notifications. And that's one thing I haven't told you yet. So I have been doing my research. I'm a PhD student. So, you know, I'm going to do my research even when it comes to my YouTube channel. And everyone is saying that you need a time each week. So I am going to upload once a week. And my time is going to be Sundays at 11 a.m. Central Time. Because I'm living in Central Time. So we're going to do that. So 11 a.m. Central Time on Sundays. So I hope you all... We'll set those notifications or just come back on Sunday to YouTube and check me out, check out my videos. So I'm so excited to continue this journey with you all. And next video, I'm actually going to be talking about why I became vegan. And I'm going to do a cooking demonstration of one of my favorite soups that I've recently started making. So I am so excited to see you all again. And again, put down in those comments all of those things that I'm asking, your milestones, how I should celebrate 40 and then job searching in a pandemic. I look forward to hearing from you all, and I will see you next week. Peace.